Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I thought I'd show you how to do something a little bit pretty, a little bit girly today. Um, and that's making some lovely little dresses to go into your journals. Um, and these are just made out of 6x6 six six, um, like pattern paper, sort of scrapbook paper. So I've got a couple of these. Um, like this one and a little blue one here and I've just embellished them with a little bit of seam binding and lace on these um, and then I started doing it um, in some tea stain paper coffee tea and coffee stain paper and I've added some lovely little bits of stickles on there and little spotty so it looks like a little spotty dress and added a little bit of lace around here and I thought these would be really nice once you've made them if you glue all the little bits down you could pop them onto into your journal like that let me get a piece of card here um, and you could make it into even like a little tuck spot like that in a journal which I got this is a little bit too big but you could pop them into uh, like a little tuck spot and I thought they look really really lovely um, so you can do them any designs you like this one I've actually popped I've just um, stamped the paper like that um, this one here again I've just added one of my little butterflies on there a little bit of trim here um, and I thought they would look really pretty and this one here is almost like a little Christmas dress and um, because these are a little bit small I've actually made these into paper clips and I think they look really cute so that would just sit on top of a journal on one of your pages like that isn't that just so cute like that and this one I just love this one I'm going to show you how to decorate this one in a minute um, but I thought that was really really lovely in a journal that would look stunning especially if you've got um, like your sewing journal and it's like a little dress that you've made in there um, I thought that was really cute so I'm going to show you how to make one I'm going to make a big one so it's sort of like this big just a plain one just to, so you can see how I make it um, they're quite simple um, so this is 8 by 8 but what you need to do is just use a square of paper so any any size it doesn't matter but I suggest that you make a start off with a big one because um, it's a lot lot easier to do because um, once you get down to this size it's a little bit fiddly so you need to know how to do the folds so it's quite simple really so what you need to do is just take a piece of your paper your square paper fold it in half like that and then open it out and then you want to fold this into the middle into your middle um, fold there like that and squash it down and again this one you want to pop into the middle like that and fold it down now, I think it might be a little bit difficult for me to do it above like this but we shall try and then you open it out like that now you want this middle this one here to fold into the um, middle one so you just want to bend that in the middle and fold that in like so okay and then these will just bend so that just arches in here like that and goes into the middle so you want those two to meet like that because this bit is the middle of your dress okay and then we want to turn it over so this is what it's like so it looks like that shape is what you want and that is the middle bit okay and then turn it over and then we want to just fold this in half so let's just fold that in half like that open that out now you want to fold about a quarter of an inch up here so you need to make another fold it doesn't have to be exact but you want to fold that up so it does that okay so you want to fold it up because this is going to be your skirt so that's roughly about a quarter of an inch up like that okay so then we've got that sort of shape like that and then we turn it over okay now on the top piece this bit you want to fold this in to the middle just like that 
and then this one into the middle there like that and fold that down okay and then you want to open it back out again and then open this bit out because you want to pop these two in so these two pieces go in like that and that one goes in like that okay so they just fold down like that and then this bit just folds down flat okay so that's how that goes so that probably doesn't look very straight to me so do that piece again so this is the back you want to fold these two down like that just so you get the mark there okay and then you open them up open that little bit up like that and these two have to pop in and it lies flat down like that okay and then these bits I'll turn it like this for it fold against this line here so you just bend that down because this is the, the little front of the dress so this is like the collar bit so that folds like that so when you turn it over that's like the top of the dress okay I think I've done that upside down no I haven't that's right now I turn that over so I'm confusing myself now because the slower you do it the harder it is for me to think right so then we pull this piece out so I turn it over now this is the skirt so we need to make the skirt a little bit fuller so take this bit and pull it out okay like that and you want to bend that down so that goes up slightly like that okay so you just pull it up and then just bend it same on this side just pull that up like that and squash that piece down so then this is your skirt okay turn it over again and then you want to fold this in to there fold that side there so that's flat and then push that down and you want to get this little corner you want to fold that down so this comes out like that okay and just squash that down it does it sort of almost on its own anyway because that's the way it feels like it should go and then again you fold that in so it's flat and then this comes out oops like that and then you want to make sure you get to sort of like the corner and then that just folds down so when you do it you feel like it does want to fold like that anyway okay so there we go that's almost the dress and then these bits you fold down because this bit is going to be the sleeve so it just pops from that point there down like that and then from this point here so you just go diagonally like that and that comes down like that so when you turn it over you've got your lovely dress look there we go so i hope you got that you can obviously watch it a couple of times so that's how it goes and i think that looks really really lovely now what i'm going to do i've got a little one here that i've made that i'm going to decorate now as i've inked the edges here so as you go once you've made a couple you know how how it folds i've sort of like unfolded it and inked the edges just with my little dauber like that go around the edges like that and ink it and i think that just sort of like gives it a little bit of definition in there so you can do that so what and this is the bigger one that i did before and inked the edges so what i'm going to do now i'm going to take my little one and i'm going to show you um, how i decorated it so it's quite simple got a little bit of lace here which I've just it comes in three and I've just um, taken off one of the sections like that and then what I'm going to do I'm going to decorate I'm going to pop it along the bottom like that so I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue along there so again you just can decorate it however you like I'm going to pop a little bit of glue so this is the messy bit along there 
hands are long here. And then just pop that along like that. Kind of just sort of tuck that in. And it goes along there. And it sort of tucks in there. Like that. Okay, so you just pop that on. Just going to chop that little end bit there. So that's a little um, bottom of the skirt decorated. On one of them, I did actually pop here. I popped a little bit of the um, cheesecloth inside here, so it gives it a little bit of dimension. Um, but I should have done that in the beginning. Before you fold it up, you can stick a little piece in there. It's a lot, lot easier. Now I'm going to just do around the collar, so I'm going to stick a little bit of glue on there, stick this on here, like that, just cut that off, and again on this side, down like that, pop it on there. And then just chop that little bit off. So that looks really pretty, doesn't it? Okay, so that's that one. So now that's done, I'm going to actually attach the... What I did on this one, I actually stuck it down on the back. Um, so on here, stick these bits down. Um, because then you can use it as a tuck spot as well because it's sort of origami, they tend to leave them open, but you, you can stick them down, um, especially if you're making some um, paper clips. So all as I've got, I've got one of my paper clips, glue everywhere, little piece of paper, make sure you've got a piece of paper that sort of fits down the middle, pop it on there like that. I normally, when I do my little paper clips, I stick the longest piece down, okay, so that's the shortest piece, I stick the longest piece to it like that, then you've got your paper clip, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop some glue on here, like this, make sure that's straight, pop that on there like that, stick it down easy peasy look at my nails are all short I actually went out the house today desperately needed to go shopping and get lots of bottles of water and as I was shopping all my nails decided to break that's carrying five litre water bottles so never mind I'm gonna have to cut them all off now and let them grow okay so that's the paper clip and that looks nice doesn't it now I'm going to get a little bit of cheesecloth just to pop on the waistband like this pop a little bit of glue on there so these are quite sort of vintagey aren't they nice pretty little vintagey dress that can just scrunch up like that and then again I've got some of my pretty little rose um, trim here it's not really roses but it looks like roses pop that on there and look at that beautiful little dress and what I shall do let's pop some stickles on here so this stickles is stardust this one I'm using um, but I also have different ones. Which one's this? That's diamond. That one's nearly all gone. And this one is crystal. Um, and they're all really pretty. I like the just the plain sparkly ones. But you can get all sorts of different colours. So then all as I did, I put tiny, tiny little dots all over the dress. Like this all the way over it and I think it just gives it a nice little bit of um, sparkle on there 
without being too much. Like that. Just little dots everywhere. And it dries really quickly if you've got little dots. So I thought that was really pretty. And then on this one I actually added a little butterfly. So I do have one here, which is a little pink one. Like that. So I'm going to add a little bit of this onto there. I think probably a little bit too much. Like that. And then add a bit of stickles on there to give it a little bit of sparkle. Just like that. But I think they look so, oopsie daisy, so pretty. And again, you can make them out of any paper that you like. As long as you have a square. Okay, start with a square, but I suggest you make a bigger one to start with. And I think they just look so, so pretty. Especially if you're going to put them into a journal on there. Or even onto a little card. But I think that one on a Christmas card would look so pretty, wouldn't it? So there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Quick little pretty um, make there. So make them into little paper clips. Um, or little tuck spots for your journals. Um, which would be nice. You could actually probably cut one in half and pop it on the side of a page and have a little tuck spot. Or you could fold it in. I wonder if you could fold that in half. That would be quite nice, wouldn't it? You could fold that in half and pop it in on the side of a journal page. And then you could have like a little tuck spot either side of the page. That would look nice, wouldn't it? And then you could have a tuck spot when you turn the page over. It would be on that side too. Oh, that's nice. And because they're thin, you can bend them. So that's really good. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Lots and lots of ideas you can do with these. Um, and you can use up all your little bits of scrapbook paper as well. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Um, please do post them. If you make them, post them onto the, the, our Facebook group. Um, I'll pop a link down below if you're not a member yet. Um, so there we go, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.